it's not lit. Uh, but the only, I think the, the only color we haven't done yet is purple, so that must be the purple. Did any of these have sounds associated with them? I know one of them had, uh, kind of a screeching sound, besides the whale. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that's it for that one. All right. Let's take a look here again. So this only has two cameras on it. And this one again, this is a static shot. I hate the fact that I missed out on, you know, whoever that was that was walking through it. And then this one is the lake with the village. But you can actually spin this around. Okay, whichever way down is the one you're looking at. Alright, I think that's the school. Yeah, there's the dock. Yeah, there's some kind of a fish in the village. I'm gonna draw that real quick. Yeah, it looks like a, a, a fish in the shadow there with a little eye there. All right, so that is it. If we go back to this one. Ah, there we go. Somebody walking through. I don't know who that is, but you can't you can't look around otherwise because it's a static shot. All right. Oh, got to lift this back up out. All right, so we got some good information. If we look at my photos I already took, um, there it is. So it was... So this has to do with the fire marbles, which I, I think are the, the marbles in the dome. It was the horizontal eye with the, you know, the horizontal eye with the vertical slit. Then just the uh, horizontal line. Then the uh, horizontal eye with the uh, dot. Then just the dot. Then the vertical eye with the dot than just the uh, vertical line. So that would be, based on these colors, that would be, okay, red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Roy G. Biv, basically. Except, you know, purple instead of violet and there's no indigo. So that's just the way he wrote them out. All right. Uh, let's get out of here. I think we've investigated as much as we can with this island so far. We might have to come back and uh, do more with the, the cartographer spot up top, the, the mapping spot up top. But I think for now, at least, we're ready to go on to the next island. You know, for somebody who only played through this game once or twice, never without a guide, and hasn't played it in years, I'm not doing too bad. I've only actually had to look at a guide once, and that was just because I couldn't figure out where to go next, what I was missing. And it was literally, I was just in the wrong location. <laughs> so far, I've got like two pages of notes. All right, so now we're on another island, kind of following after that. Uh, I think it was a woman. Not the one we saw on the, uh, uh, in the red on the uh, security camera, 
but the one that was in the robe. All right, so where does this take us? Oh, I know where we are. I know where we are. Yeah. We're in the fish's mouth. So we've opened up the fish. We've created access to the village island now. So yeah, you can see the fish is open. Oh, is that a little kid? Oh! So there's a, a ball there. I don't know if I actually got that one. It's in the forest. Uh, that's not where I wanted to go. Yeah, through here. Yeah, he's gonna sound the siren again. You know, get everybody out. Well, unfortunately, um, we're back to known locations, so I don't really know what to do next. Unless there's, again, there's something I missed out here with regards to the, the sacrifice thing. Or if, you know, the village has changed at all. What if I knock five times? No, I was hoping maybe five times would do the, the trick. Oh, hello. What? Well, at least we know there's somebody there. Come on. No, nothing this time. All right, we still can't get across to these huts. If we go past and go up, there's nothing new here. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to have to look at a guide again. I just saw something in the shadows. Oh, never mind. Oh, what am I missing? What am I missing? I don't know. Where's my map for this? Okay, we're at the bridge, right? See, I don't think there's anything that's changed, though. So if we go back to the sacrifice... What am I missing? I'm missing something. I just don't know what. These guys again. If I wait for them to be completely still.
And they ran off. Okay. What am I missing? Here was one of the, the, uh, balls, the eyeballs. But they're all the same, uh, thing on the front. So yeah, it's definitely the whale is number five. And the whale, according to my notes, was red. Whale is red. Yeah, definitely the whale. Yeah, you can even see that looks like the whale. And we go back this way. We get here the the scarab. You know, the shape of the scarab there. Surprised they aren't all like this. In terms of uh, having the shapes right there. Yeah, just the buzz. And that's number two. Yeah, nothing, nothing here. I wish there was a way to call the bathysphere to you. Alright, let's go back up. There was nothing out here. No, let's go back this way. All right, so we have this one here. That's the frog. That's clearly the frog sound. That's number three. But there's like nothing around here to indicate that it would be a frog. Like nothing in the shadows, nothing in the other shapes. Nothing. If I turn you... No, you're, there's nothing over there. I was going to say, if I turn you around, can I get out on the other side? But there's nothing there. Alright. So what am I missing? If we go back this way, take the minecart ride. Yeah, notice the, the glowing orange loops. Those are heat sources, and that's what's keeping the water uh, at bay. To keep the, the tunnel dry. Yeah, you enter several to, to heat you all up. And then by the time you, yeah, leave the air. Yeah, you're still in the air. Okay. What am I missing? What am I missing? I just, I can't think of anything. I can't really think of a place we haven't gone that we have access to. Or that... Or that a place that where we have enough... I mean, one thing we didn't do... Is 
we go here, if we flip this all the way around, and then interact with the wood chipper, There we go, up. So that, again, that just lets us start the wood chipper, but it doesn't really do anything otherwise. All right, let's go back. Let's flip this all the way back. All right. If we go around this way, go back up top. <sighs> Trying to figure this out. Okay, let's close this. Yeah, it's down here is where the, the dome is. But I don't have the proper combination. Wait. Did I just do something? Was that actually the proper combination for this one? Holy shit. It was. 25 was the proper combination for this one. So they all have unique combinations, don't they? Holy shit. Uh, we're going to save real quick. There we go. Hot damn. Oh, so this is... This is 98. This is book 98. Can we not link to it? Apparently not. Oh, because we don't... We're not... We don't have power to it. But we accessed it. Okay, so that gets us back. We don't have proper power to it yet. So how come that one opened, but not the other? It was 25, right? I just shoved, uh, shoved it all the way to 25. Yeah. So how come this one opened, but not the others? Are they... Are they all... different combos? They might be different combos. Interesting. Why did that one open, but not the others? So they might all be different combos. Different combinations. Okay, so we did see that woman walking through here. Did she change or do anything here? I mean, there was the, the burnt book. You know, again, destroying a failed book. Oops, wrong button. All right. See, so yeah, if we look through here again. Where? 
where was it? So install coded access system to all of the domes. So yeah, that implies it's the, it's the same thing for all of them. So the X is 25. Weird. Oh wait, no, keep that. Keep going back. Uh, huh. Has to be deeper connection to the fives. Continue to investigate and determine how the Dunny color symbology uh, reflects the superior design principle based on a six color system. Huh. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else of real importance in here. All right. Nothing new here. Nope. Did I not take a look at this one earlier? I don't think I did. Oh, five splits, of course. Making his, his books. And inks. What are you for? Some kind of vice for something. I don't know. Well, I'm glad I found something new. But I'm still a little mystified. Alright, let's go back here. There's still something I'm missing. I'm not sure what. But I have access through here. Okay, how do I get down there, though? That's the question. How do I get to that one? Yeah, just trying to look doesn't really give me answers. Can I... That lowers that back down. But I don't necessarily need that lowered down, do I? Let's bring it back up. All right, if I continue through here. Hello. That's new. Okay. So that that was hidden. Interesting. So this is then how we get to here. Okay, so this is the circle. So this one is green. If I'm if I'm understanding this correctly, Come on. Did I not get that right? 
Ugh. But yeah, I think the gold symbol tells you which marble this one's supposed to be. So this is green. So that one is green. How do I get you to stop spinning? Come on. There we go. Gotcha. So yeah, this one is is the green marble. All right. Let's see if this works still. Yes. So why wasn't it working on the other one? Oh my god. Okay. So is this one active at all? This one is not. All right. So this is supposed to be the green marble, if I got this correct. Would this start this up again? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that gives me something there. Will this... give me another path? Maybe? Mm, no, there's a drain there, though. But there's, there's nothing else. Alright, let's bring you back down and go back up. Alright. So if I go around here... All right. So yeah, this is the island we're on right now, I think. Oh, there's just so much we got to do. So much we have to figure out. If we go around here. Is there anything else? We don't know what the combination is here yet. And we don't know what the combination is here yet. All right. What was across this way? Oh, it was the temple, right? Yeah, the temple. Which would take us around to the village. Alright, let's flip this around. I'm glad I learned that you can hit escape to uh, speed things up. Okay, if I'm correct, then the green... Green marble goes... Here? 